Online research profiles let you organize and promote your publications. There are several different online research profiles available to you, some of which you need to create yourself and some of which are created for you once you have something published. This video will give a brief overview of some of the research profiles we'd recommend you engage with. ORCID, which stands for Open Researcher Contributor ID, is a universal identifier. Once you create an ORCID profile, not only do you get a unique ID number for yourself, you can also add all of your publications, education and work experience to your profile. This works almost like a CV. Having an ORCID is a requirement at the University of Essex, as this identifier is used for the REF, the Research Excellence Framework. ORCID is also used in many funder applications and submission processes with publishers. You can create and update your ORCID profile at orchid.org. Another online research profile you'll need to engage with is your Scopus profile. Unlike ORCID, a Scopus ID is created for you once your work is indexed in Scopus. You will have limited interaction with your Scopus profile, as while you can request changes to your profile, these changes have to be reviewed by the Scopus team. However, if you have a Scopus profile, you are required to check your profile occasionally to ensure the details and documents are correct. This is essential as we use Scopus data for reporting on various bibliometric data, such as citations. Scopus can also provide you with information about how many times your research has been cited. The final online research profile the University of Essex requires you to interact with is Google Scholar. Google Scholar is the largest database of scholarly literature. Like with ORCID, all researchers at Essex need to create a Google Scholar profile and affiliate their account with the university. Google Scholar should be used with caution when interpreting citations, as it indexes a large range of resources and does not have the best algorithms for identifying true academic citations. However, Google Scholar is great for increasing research visibility. There are many other online research profiles that may be useful for you depending upon your research field. For example, you may wish to create a Publons profile. On this profile, you can import your publications from Web of Science. Some more social platforms have also been created to increase networking and sharing between academics. Two examples are ResearchGate and Academia.edu. On these platforms, you can share your research more widely. Just make sure you're careful of copyright restrictions on your work. You can also engage with Twitter to share your research and increase your visibility. While Twitter wasn't created for academics, it can be great for networking and finding new conferences and events, just as long as you know the right accounts to follow. Engaging with online research profiles is essential for increasing your research visibility. We have written guidance on setting up ORCID and Google Scholar profiles, and you can find the link to this in this video's description. If you need any help in setting up or using any online research profiles, please do get in touch with the research support team in the library via research at essex.ac.uk.